Today's tips to Jormel bag question comes to us from Wyoming. Robert, how do you remove the tang from the fret when doing frets on a bound fretboard? Jimmy in Wyoming. Uh, Jimmy, most folks use what's known as a fret tang nipper. And the problem with that is sometimes it doesn't cut cleanly, leaves a little residual part of the tang there, and you wind up filing it off anyway. Now, I've started using a tool I got from LMI called the Fret Tang Filer. Let's go over the bench. I'll show you how it works. So, Jimmy, what you see on my bench here is a Thomas Humphrey classical guitar from 1983. And apparently that was a good year for Thomas. I'm refretting it because it's been played so much that it was just time for a refret. I'm going to use that technique of nipping back the tang on the frets, even though it's not a bound fretboard. A couple of reasons for doing that. One, it looks cool on the side. You can't see the tang on the side of the fret. Also, if the fretboard ever shrinks and the frets stick out a little bit, the only part you have to worry about filing down is just right at the top on the edge of the fretboard. It takes a little bit more work, but I like doing it. So let me show you how I do it. The first thing I did is pull out all of the old frets. Then I took a few minutes to redress the fretboard, and this one had a little bit of a radius on it. Next, I take a piece of fret wire, place it over the fretboard, leaving it extending a little bit on either side, then take my fret cutters and cut it off. So, Jimmy, this is the jig I use. I now just take my fret wire, place it into the jig here, and let it extend the amount that I want to nip off, and then just place this down to hold it, and then come in and move it, this is a file, and it files off that tang there. And usually just a few passes is all it takes. And as you can see, I've cut that tang off there. So it now will be overhanging the edge of the fretboard. It's what I call a faux bound fretboard. Looks like it was bound in ebony, because all you can see is the top part of the fret. And obviously there's two sides of the fretboard, so I just spin it around, do the other side exactly the same way, leave it overhang the amount that you want to clip off of the tang. And there it is. Comes out perfect every time. With the tang filed back on each end, all you need to do now is install it just like you normally would. So, Jimmy in Wyoming, thank you very much for your question, and happy fretting. Mm -hmm.